Well, good afternoon, Hope in Christ Church. I, uh, I'm here in the garage because Shirley's doing a ladies' Bible study in the house. So this is the, the place that I have to bring you a message here this week. Uh, the elders have been speaking together about being much more deliberate about our commitment to stay connected with you guys. And we're going to do that in a bunch of different ways. We're going to uh, be uh, regularly reaching out to you by phone, talking to you hopefully like once a week to see how you're doing check on you, make sure you have any, uh, if you have any prayer requests or, or any needs at all that we could work together as a church to fulfill them. We're also going to be bringing you messages, I hope, like this one on Wednesdays. Um, we're also ramping up our small groups. We started our, our Bible study on this last Tuesday night on the book of Revelation. It's not too late. We just did the beginning of it, so it's uh, still really easy to jump in on that. And then tonight on Wednesday night, the ladies are doing a group. The men's group are going to be doing Thursday night. If you go and jump into any of those, just contact me and I'll get you the, the login information because they're all kind of online in a chat room kind of um, format. We do a Facebook devotional working through the Bible one chapter at a time. About 6.30 every morning we're doing that. Uh, we're in Amos right now working through the minor prophets. Uh, if you have any needs at all, uh, spiritual or physical, Mark Cronus is our contact guy there. So contact Mark if there's something that we can do as elders or as a church with you. Um, I also wanted to let you know there's a very important email going to be going out tomorrow having to do with the church finances. So if you're a member of the church, we really want you to uh, open that up, take a look at it, and we'd like your honest and open feedback on that email. Uh, we also have some opportunities of building in grounds. We're not going to gather together this year to work as a group to clean the church, but if you have some time, some spare time, uh, stop by the church, give me a call, and we'll put together a little list of the things that have to get uh, get done for the summertime. There's also some people already some people working on that. Our undercover pantry that uh, Katie Bennett's doing a great job with could use a volunteer or two to stop by and put the coolers in at night. That's, that's a need that we have. Um, this week leading up to Easter we are having two special services this week. We're having a Friday night service at 6.30, it's going to be a short message from me. It's going to combine Maundy Thursday and Good Friday. So uh, if you'd like to observe the uh, Lord's Supper with me during this service, have some juice and have some crackers ready. We will uh, be doing that live on Facebook and also it'll be downloaded to our YouTube channel as well as a, a 6 a.m. sunrise service uh, on Sunday. Both of those will be uh, online for you to see. The... Um, praise and prayer portion of our service, uh, we need your input. If you have praises or prayers, please get them to the office or get them to me so we can integrate them into our service and um, really look for ways to be, uh, to be connected with you. We, this is really a challenging time to stay connected when we can't really gather um, as, a, as a group. Uh, lastly, I'd like to bring you a message uh, of hope. Uh, because there's a lot of people struggling with hope right now. Um, but as Christians, we can have hope because God has placed it inside of us. Our hope isn't, isn't like a wish or, or, or a good vibe, right? Like people outside the church have. A Christian's hope is a product of the faith, which is, which is our, our, our life is built upon. Um, it's a real expectation of the promises that God has given us. And it's those promises that we can count on. It's those promises that we can have full assurance will be fulfilled. So, you know, God has our lives uh, in his hands. He loves us. There's no virus that can stop that. There's no virus that can, that can thwart his love for us. Nothing can happen to us. Nothing can befall us without his consent. So let your faith and your trust in him um, establish a deep hope inside of yourself so that you can stay focused on him and not the potential problems that seem to be surrounding us these days. So um, God bless you all. You know, reach out to us uh, at the office or, or the elders and let us know what we can do for you. And um, I'll see you Friday night. God bless you. Bye.